Can you hear me? Everything good? Okay. You see, I have many tabs open on Photoshop because I am multitasking, like always. Whoa, we're right up against his eye. Good, 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 good. My favorite part is cleaning up this stuff. That's a lie, I hate this. So freaking much. How was Matsuri Khan? I tried to rest. It did not work. Good, good. Oh man, that's always good. No, so like I went to a bachelorette party, uh, my first one ever, and my god, are they tiring and expensive. And I'm just like, Ugh, I don't want to do it again. Do not want, do not want. I'll be in Cleveland this weekend for a show though. Wait, what do you mean? Wait, so did Carol get... Aw, oh, it's because it's Sagiti. I mean, no, she actually is cooler than I thought she would be. I didn't really have much of a... Eh? Did my music just die? What did you guys do? Which one of you killed my music? Wait, is it not repeating? Yeah, I turned off the loop. That was me. Uh... Oh, that sucks. Ugh. Guys, I mean, I guess I, I understand that, you know, there are guests, but also why? Why? 
I feel like whenever cons make like a major change like that too, it's so hard to get the announcement out in time that usually by the time people get there, it's already like past the start time and stuff too. I hate that. Why did I not? Meow, meow, meow. Ah, uh, that sucks. Yeah, see, that's just it. You didn't know ahead of time. How could you? I feel like it's nay impossible to do that. I mean, at least some of the ones is like the guidebook app and it, especially if they're like, hey, here's an announcement or an update and like notify it. But a lot of them don't do that. And so it's just like chaotic. I'm just like flashbacking to all the times at YomaCon where like last minute they're like, we're moving Yoma Idol. And they moved me like downstairs and you know the run center is like this maze of oh uh, it's, it's a freaking maze you can't just directly go down to the next floor usually you have to like take an elevator and then go up a staircase and you know it's like you have to like do go down to two floors and then go up and it's it does not make it easy because that there was one year it was particularly bad and i just remember like everybody was late and they were all like terrified i was like dude i was late no yeah, it's good that they're moving. Well, of course, we're running into another issue with the Yomacon, which is basically, uh, you know, nobody knows what's going on. Still. I pretty much at this point just kind of been like, uh, I had another show that asked me about uh, attending as a vendor and it's way closer and they're giving me information. And it's also uh, only two days versus three and I don't need a hotel and all that stuff. And yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be able to do Yoma Idol at this point because usually the auditions would end today. When we had talked about it initially with uh, the, at least who was the programming staff last year, the head or whatever, was supposed to, uh, you know, put it up. I gave her all the information, like the website and everything. We, we got everything up, but I never really heard back and it just kind of like died because I had her, I literally was talking to her on personal Facebook. So it wasn't even like, you know, email, which that's another problem is who the hell do you email? None of the email addresses are like valid anymore. It's, it's chaotic. I don't, I, I kind of learned a little bit more that was going on and I don't want to say too much just in case it's incorrect or, you know, I'm not going to like throw stones in a glass house. I really liked the con initially, but it definitely has kind of just, I don't know if it's just getting too big for its riches or if it's just because of all the change in staff they've had to have, but yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yomacon was mostly for friends, but I can't even afford that one without um, this like Yoma Idol. Well, first off, that's always a big part. And the only reason I ever kept doing that is because they're the ones who requested it. In fact, they're the ones who asked me to do it in the first place. Oh, psh. yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm just kind of like, eh. and then of course, I mean, one of the reasons I didn't go last year either is because, um, pretty much part of the, the, I don't want to say like an agreement because it's not technically great, but yeah, part of the, uh, the, I guess I, we can say agreement. I, that, I guess that's fine. But like, yeah, part of the thing with me running idle is, um, they would always make sure I had like a table in artist alley. And I mean, I, there were times like, because uh, there were several times in the past where I was not caught my badge when I should have been, neither were my judges were not getting their discounts or whatever. So in the end, he just ended up being like, you know what, screw this. We'll just give you your table every year and guarantee it. I don't care if I have to pay or have to pay for an extra badge. It's fine. I just need to know ahead of time. But um, basically when I had asked about that, because I'm like, dude, it's, you know, almost con date. I not hearing back from anybody. Nobody's responding to me for the so-called artist alley email. And I don't know what's going on with this. Um, you know, the con chair told me to contact you guys or whatever, and then stuff. It, it just became a mess. And then basically the reason that I ended up being like, you know, screw this after all of it is despite the fact that once again, they, you know, I gave them the stuff. So like this year, like I said, it was different because it just never happened, never went up. But last year they literally put the freaking website stuff up like two days before the deadline. It's like, what the hell? I give it to you in June. Why is this so late? I was not very happy. So yeah, it was, it was very um, chaotic and just, I feel like they, they're the ones who asked me to do it and they kept asking me to like, it, it, it people were having fun, but because of the lack of support I was getting, it was getting harder and harder to do. And then of course they had the audacity to tell me that the reason that I wasn't getting support is because I have my own Facebook page for it. I'm like, dude, you guys weren't giving me anything. How the hell is I supposed to get information out? So I made a Facebook page. 
I was totally happy with, you know, like closing it down or just saying, hey, we're not putting information here on anymore, you know, whatever. But they never really said anything until me after they screwed me up. And yeah, um, but what I was going to say, though, is, yeah, the live programming stuff. When I talk to her, I'm like, dude, I can't get a hold of these people. Like, who do I contact? You give me this email address. It's not working. Can you talk to somebody? And she basically was like, well, I I can't because the artist Ali had doesn't like me. And I was like, what the fuck? Just politics. No. I, I don't know. I'm very disappointed that it went down like that. But um, like I said, at this point, I wouldn't definitely not be able to do Yoma Idol. And um, I, I obviously, Artist Alley hasn't even opened. So how the hell am I supposed to find a hotel this late? Like, we, nobody, there's not even hotel blocks as far as I know yet. Most of us are kind of figuring that it's probably just going to like have to pull the plug before it actually happens anyways. So it's sad, but maybe maybe um, they'll be able to fix things and it will come back. But yeah, I, I don't know what's going on. It's I, I've heard what I heard. It makes sense. But also I'm like, I don't know if it's all true. But. So yeah, I don't know. It's just like, mm. that's why I was like, um, I am going to try see if I can get into the other con that messaged me and talk to them about it because it's cheaper in every way, shape or form. <laughs> from that place yeah well i don't even think it's necessarily the convention center this time or anything which i know one of the biggest problems that cons tend to have um with the reason that they you know they die out or whatever is actually the the uh, venues that they use uh or the venues that they are able to get because i mean first off um if you guys aren't aware venues have specific dates like blocked out so you're not the con can't always get certain dates you know, they might be told, oh, well, we're, we're, we're saving this for another event. Like, especially if they like a different event. And unfortunately, anime cons tend to get, like, the shaft there. But, like, if you guys remember a few years back, um, what is it? Uh, b -b 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 C2E2, which is a huge comic con in Chicago, was literally the same weekend as Gen Con, which is a huge gaming con in Indiana. So they're very close. United. I, d I don't get a what I don't fly enough to get flight references I'm sorry move to Japan <laughs> I sigh yeah I mean I get that it's out but wait, what does United do are they bad I uh I think I don't know where we when we flew Seattle what we went through Alaska well we didn't always go through Alaska though only once or twice Ah, I know. I know when I went to Japan, the first two times I used JAL. I know last time we used well, Japan Airlines, and then we used Taiwan Airlines. I was like, it was something Taiwanese. Yeah, I was like, I don't remember. It had a Hello Kitty. Oh yeah, EVA. Hi, I'm Quotable. Oh, Del I don't know if I've ever flown Delta. Yeah, I usually just take what's cheapest. But yeah, in the past two, when I was flying alone, it was a lot easier. I mean, it was scary, but it was also a lot easier. I don't like flying alone. It's scary. I don't like going anywhere alone. I'm scared. But yeah, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of like venues. Like, eh. I, I honestly do not like how South Bend um, treats Ramen Con. I mean, I still do that one and I still do their murder mystery. But as far as the actual convention goes, it's not. The con itself has a lot of issues with organization and stuff. But it really comes down to one of the biggest issues, too, is the fact that the venue itself is not willing to, like, work with it. And this convention could possibly bring in a lot of money and has. And they're just like, well, we don't want you weirdos here. It's kind of the feeling I get. Like, even a lot of the restaurants and stuff in the area pretty much have that same attitude. Sadly, the one that was the most accepting was super excited that we were there was this tapas place, but it closed down at, during the pandemic. Like, God damn it, I love that place. They're not great, but better than the rest. No, I didn't. I've not heard anything about the dates. I actually did try to get into Artist Alley at Matsuri Con. I just didn't. I think I got waitlisted, so... I'm not going to drive five hours to a con I'm not going to be able to afford, so. 
Yes, guys, I am literally a starving artist. You know how it is. But yeah, Matsuki Con was about five hour drive for me. Yomakon's about four. In both cases, though, I also have a time change, so I lose an hour on the way there and gain one on the way back. I'm time travel. I time travel. You can't stop me. But yeah. The Dragon Con in Ohio Con. What do you mean? They're taking them. I do want to try Dragon Con one year. I don't know if I'm going to try to sell that one, though. I mean, part of me would like to, but that's such a long drive. So I think it was like eight hours. So it's almost like, would I rather fly? And then trying to fly with my shit. Oh, OK. It's the same weekend. Yeah, see, that's how much I know. I used to go down to Anime Fest uh, uh, Labor Day weekend, but it actually um, got moved from that date anyways and apparently is at a totally different venue now and I, I've heard you know like it's not as good I don't know if that's true or not um, it's a little sad but it was my first Texas con I did it for several several years straight kept doing freaking 16 hour drives what was wrong with me now I'm like I don't even want to do a 20 minute drive half the time no I'm not that bad I don't miss the uh, driving long distances to con thing though Especially now that I'm the one doing the driving. You're kind of old. I, I am just old. I stand by that. I definitely don't move like I used to. As somebody who uh, was once like literally doing all this kind of classical and uh, modern dance and literally um, tumbling, which is like gymnastics minus the bars and stuff, but I did trampoline and stuff too. I took a little gymnastics and did bal balance beam and stuff when I was a lot younger, but yeah, like I used to be able to do all that stuff and now it's like, ooh, it's so hard. I can't even walk half the time. I want to prepare for for uh, retirement. How do I do this? Can I retire? I'm old enough, right? I, if I was an idol, I'd be old enough. Aw, that sucks. What? What the heck? What happened? Oh my god. I don't know what that... Thank you for pointing that out, Wong. I didn't even notice. Eh? What is going on there? That is... Oh, you know what? Did I do something weird? Here, give me a second. No, that was on the right screen. Why are you... What the hell is going on here? Eh, none day, none, Wait. No. Yeah, where is that one coming from? Sorry guys, I'm gonna like figure out where this extra. No, what the hell? Why is that? God damn it. <laughs> Nobody me, it starts snowing. Okay, what about now? Okay, is that better? Yeah, like Wong was like, why do you have two tablets showing? I'm like, I don't know actually, it's a good question. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not donating my hair to anybody. 
Not anytime soon, anyways. I'd always planned, like, if I ever got it cut to donate it to, like, Locks for Loves, and then it became, I'm never getting it cut. I went the other route. I'm sure at some point, you know, I don't know. Wait. Wait, why are you in charge? Wait, what's wrong with Instagram? Don't you know how to use Instagram? Why would that be a problem? I'm confused. I am the confused. I just don't like people touching my hair and I like my hair. So yeah, I know you hear a lot of people, girls are like, oh, long hair is so hot. And they're right, it does get hot. That, that's, that's totally true. But I guess because I've had long hair my whole life, I'm just used to it. God damn it, Kickstarter, we're over. Stop that. I should probably turn that off. I'll do it later. Famous last words. What the hell? I, I shouldn't be disappearing. Really? Really? I thought you used it. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe... Mm. See, now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, maybe maybe I didn't see you on there. I just assumed. Um, it's okay. I'm not a huge fan of Instagram. Um, I, I honestly liked Twitter better, but um, because part of it is um, with the way that they do the stupid, um, you know, if you're not paying for stuff, you get buried the algorithms. That's the word I was looking for. It's like my, my, um, reach tanked and I mean I'm not necessarily like trying to be like oh god everyone come here and find me but it's like I can't even sometimes find other people and I definitely um what people were responding including my own friends because they weren't seeing stuff come through as much because I'm not you know paying for my post I'm like I'm sorry do you guys think I have money It's a pet peeve of mine for people to just like friend me or add me to be like, oh, hey, I do this service. I'm like, well, you know what? Screw you too. I don't actually usually say that. <laughs> usually. I'm here for the karaoke and gunpla. the shelf today after work my ikea shelves finally arrived i can't wait to keep um to get them all up so i can put some gundam stuff finally up i have shar's helmet and i have shar's space helmet and i have shar and i have quacho okay i have other things other than shar it's just funner to say that i do have all those though we're gonna do like a gundam shelf so i also have a ton of gunpla but i didn't really want to build them until i had a place to put them but I'm gonna put all of those figures in there, so maybe I'll just have to like. I wish the details were still the same price, but they're not. They're expensive. I guess supplies and stuff, like the ability to get them, has changed a lot. Why would you have barbecue with barbecue sauce? Oh my god. No, I'm kidding. Mm, yakiniku is so yummy. Basically, your guys are talking like borderline. I think an izakaya would probably be. You could just open it up. True, true. Usually the term barbecue refers to the way it's cooked. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, I was going to say you could do like an American barbecue joint and then you could have like uh, the different types of barbecue, you know, like Memphis, Texas. 
uh, Carolina, the malt triad, and dry rub. I'm out of sauces, guys. Actually, there's a really cool um, place. Um, I can't, it, like a, a, a company for making barbecue sauce. It's Chicago Loco, I, local. I can't think of what it's called, but they have really yummy sauce, sauces. I'm personally a big fan of Memphis barbecue is my favorite, but um, I will pretty much eat anything when it comes to barbecue, except for really spicy stuff because uh, my tongue not like, and my tummy don't like. I'm sorry guys, I can't handle super spice. I can actually handle more spice uh, than um, a lot of uh, people I know, but still. Because I've slowly grown to it. What is an American ramen shop? Are you gonna just sell instant ramen? Is that what you're talking about? Like, what is that stuff? That brand that everyone knows, like the 10 cent ramen? Oh, that's odd. Uh, how have you never tried Memphis? It's so good. It's a sweeter one. Um, Yeah, I don't like super sweet things, which is why it works for me. It's like smoky and sweet. It's good, though. Carolina tends to taste too much like mustard for me, and I'm not a super big fan of mustard. Because Carolina, I believe, is made with mustard. Isn't that kind of its thing? I don't know. There's so many different types of barbecue sauce. It's always fun to try them. I know when I went to uh, St. Louis for a wedding, well, it wasn't St. Louis. I went to, cause yeah, there's also St. Louis style. Call it fucking ramen. No, you're gonna stick a gun in there now? I think there was an anime that did that. <laughs> Which is probably why that was the first thing I thought of. But um, yeah, like I went to a wedding uh, in Kansas area kansas missouri area and they had like a sampler at one of the restaurants um i wasn't actually it was funny because wong was a uh, part of the 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 groom's party and i wasn't at all i was just a plus one so i hung out with some of his friends that i kind of knew and we ended up walking down to this uh barbecue joint i have seen the pics from hot city con i miss i i'm sad i didn't get to go but also um i definitely couldn't have afforded I would have like th it didn't help any of that they dropped Nano's schedule like the day before or whatever and I'm like I have nothing arranged and yeah I I'm not gonna miss I wasn't gonna miss Twifu's uh, bachelorette party I was kind of hoping it was like on a Friday or a Saturday because then I could just like you know drive or Friday or Sunday so I could just drive down for the day I drive the fight but it was also a five-hour drive I I missed Nano at Asen because I didn't want to get COVID. Uh, the few a couple of years back or two years ago, because this this year was my first ASIN after the pandemic, and yes, I survived. Oh, okay, but I I also wear a mask always. I would rather not die. Thank you very much, because I'm high risk, guys. I could actually physically die, so let's not. That that's my my uh, thing. Because yeah, I have some people who are like, why are you still wearing a mask? I'm like, because I like living and breathing, so just let me have it for a little longer, okay? It does make me definitely want to cosplay Yuzuri, uh, though, like, sooner than later. I know I definitely want to get Lena Inverse done for Ramen Con too, so... it's another thing. I have her partially done. I just haven't gone very far. Damn. Yes to both. Yeah, Slayer's... Oh, so Lena's always been on my, like, costly bucket list anyways. And my intention was to get her done for Ren Fair a couple years back, but, um... Things like money and then my health just really got in the way. So, like, that's why I'm like, this year, I'm not letting it stop. Um, I have all the fabric for her already. I have the wig. I have... Um, I actually cheated and just bought leggings and a swimsuit for part of it. So, that's all here, too. Um, I've got everything mapped out. I have the pattern and everything. But yeah, I love Slayers. That was, you know, like one of my early series. 
and I've always loved Hayashi Bara Megumi, and yeah, Slayers is part of the reason because her songs just still hit me hard. Well, I feel like sometimes, um, I, I the like I know there's that cosplay thing where everyone's like, you know, oh, we only I'm gonna make it all from scratch, but like sometimes it makes no sense to do that. Um, the case of the swimsuit thing, because uh, I'm doing uh, the version from the series, not like prequel with Naga. I'm doing the version where she has like the yellow tube top thingy. Because I, I'm hoping to eventually convince some of my friends to cosplay other characters with me. Because I would love to have the whole gang. We've talked about it, but whether or not it will ever happen is the other is another story. But yeah, um, anyways, so... Where, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so with cosplay, people are like, well, you have to make everything from scratch. Like, okay, seriously, why would you make a pair of jeans from scratch? That, that makes, I know it's possible, but like i would rather just buy that i'm sorry guys i'm that kind of person i'm not gonna make i don't like sewing denim anyways um so typically i do make 99 percent of my cosplay from scratch um i have been buying more cosplay recently just because i got i'm a little upset because i got fat over the pandemic compared to what i was so nothing fits and it makes me angry so instead i buy cheap ones and let them to get destroyed <laughs> oh hi ito Okay, go ahead. Uh, guess guess who you think uh, Gowry would be. I'm doing okay. Just uh, a little feisty. Nothing unusual. I need to still do my Gundam dailies too. I built a shelf. Yep, yep. That's exactly who's supposed to be Gowry. So then who do you think Rajamitsu is supposed to be? I feel like one of those clickbaits. The answer might surprise you. No, actually. She didn't want to do Amelia. So I was trying to I was trying to rope a uh, kitten into that one, especially because of her height. I don't know if you got this. Who do you think? Go ahead, give me your best guess. She actually wanted to, yeah. Okay, I think I cleaned up all his hair. Thank God, he's got so much hair. So much of this has been done. Ah, oh, I missed that whole spot. Oh, um, actually, she wants to do her favorite character, which is uh, Zelos. <laughs> oh, what did I do? Oh no, did I? No, I'm okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, it was a. Uh, I I think it would work though. I I don't think we necessarily have to be perfect height for cosplay ever, because. Yes, actually, that would, because I, I told Wong I want him to go as my favorite character so I can molest him. <laughs> Zell Goddess is my favorite character. Uh, it was really funny, like, some random thing came up on my time pop from several years back where it was me going, I like my men how I like my rocks. Zell Goddess! I'm like, oh my god, that's so me, though. My goal is to get the whole group together so we can sing Slayers to the Future at karaoke and actually have everyone. Instead of me threatening to do it with sock puppets, what I'll fucking do. Because I, I have, like, literally done that one at, um, like, for karaoke streams by myself, but it's, it's for people singing. <laughs> okay, I think. Let's get that. And then, yeah, so that 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 is the goal. Although, though, uh, Rajanesu did say she might be willing to do Lena with me because I want to do the uh, um, Otomi no... Uh, Otome no Inori outfits, if you guys remember those, just for shits and giggles. And she kind of liked that idea because, you know, she's also into like dumb cosplay ideas like me. Okay, that should work. I like having friends who want to cosplay with you, though. It's fun. Um, in the past, the only reason I had as many cosplay partners is because I actually uh, made the costumes for them. So I was also back when I did more of the, uh, as what is it called, like found cosplay, where I'd go to like a thrift store and find something that worked, looked similar to it, and then like cut it up and destroy it. Destroy. And resew and stuff like that, which I don't see anything wrong with that. I just, nowadays... Certain things look better from scratch. 
Mm, I remember right before. Oh my God, somebody's redeeming stuff. Okay, posture check. Why is, oh, those don't have things. Yeah, I, I didn't say I necessarily enjoyed it, but uh, sometimes that was the only way I could get people to cosplay with me. And I was like, especially because I am a big fan of picking obscure things typically. I've done more mainstream things now than I used to, but part of it is because I'll have somebody be like, "You, we should cosplay this together. And I'm like, fuck yeah, if I got somebody to cosplay with, I, I will almost cosplay anything. I also want to lose some weight so I can get Kitten to do dirty bear with me. I know she likes to flash designs better, but I think I want to try both at some point. Because the, the original would be easier to do, but Flash is also really cool. The series wasn't as good, but the designs are very aesthetic. All right, and then weird noises for Dean. Yes! Dirty Pair is one of my, like, I love that series, but it's kind of weird to talk about because people hear the name and they're like, oh, Dirty Pair. It's like, it's not fucking dirty. That's why it was really surprised. Um, my bookmark set that I had for a while, um, I still technically have it, but I haven't been reprinting all of it. Uh, the classic anime one. When I did the poll to see, like, what people wanted as the, uh, the, the fifth set, I was really surprised that... Dirty Pair did win, but it is not my bit. It doesn't sell very well, sadly. But the people who do recognize it, we get to have fan girl and boy moments. But yeah, so that that's also like, I don't know, sorry. All my like cosplay I really want to do are super retro for the most part. Now I like, I like some of the newer ones. If it was up to me, I would cosplay everything, but not only do I not have the energy or money or time. Yeah, that's just, no. There's so much I want to cosplay. It was a long time ago, Anthony. It would have been in 2007 or so. Because it's like... No, it's probably a little after that. Maybe 2010. Um, yeah, Bubblegum Crisis didn't get any votes, though, which was weird. Because that one was an option. Because, yeah, it ended up being Cowboy Bebop, Evangelion, um, Trigun, Escaflone, and uh, Dirty Pair. Okay, so yeah, yeah, you wouldn't have it, it, you didn't, wouldn't have known it there. I actually watched Bubblegum Crisis way back in the day too. Although I was more of a fan, I got really more into uh, 80 Police, but probably because nobody else was into it, which is like a spin-off from it, so. Also, it had guys. Sometimes I just want to look at a hot guy, dude. It was kind of gay too. It wasn't actually, but mm, it kind of felt that way. That was definitely during the, the years when I was friends with more people who had random Yahweh ships. So watching stuff with them made things hard sometimes to not ship things. I'm okay with shipping, no matter what, but I, I'm that kind of person. Like as much as I joke about, you know, I am a Yahweh fan, guys. Sorry, I like boys love. But um, as much as I talk, I also like girls love though too. My OTP for uh, Yuri or girls love is still always going to be uh, Mag and Joe from Bakuretsu Tenshi. I love those two together. I also just really like Joe. She's that's another one I'd like to do, but I would definitely, I don't know who I'd find. I'd probably end up trying to force kitten into it again, but she has not actually seen or read the series. Sorry. I like my, um, my strong female characters, I guess. The only, I, I swear I was like, I got so angry because of the guy in the anime. So that one, I don't know if I necessarily ship because of their age difference. Um, mostly it's because Kirika, wait, Kiri, yeah, Kirika is so young in my mind. Kirika and Chloe seem to be closer in age. But as far as it goes, I definitely see them having like, even if it's just a big sister and a little sister relationship. But they do have a very close relationship. But yeah, with the Yahweh ships, though, I, I am that weirdo who always has to have like actual logic behind it. So... I don't, well, I don't like a lot of the Yahweh out now. Um, I'm very picky about what I read because so much of it is like, I like even looking back at it now, like some of the stuff I watched, we used to joke that gravitation was like the gateway Yahweh. Like almost all of us started with that or fake. It was one of those two. My God is gravitation super toxic. Really? That's horrible. 
dude, yeah, they're fan. I mean, I I can't say anything. I have a bunch of. When we went to Komi K, I bought I bought tons of everything. So I I well, I bought a lot of two B and nine S Dojin because that is a ship I love. Yeah. Yeah, that's well, that's just it. I'm like, I'll I don't like I'll start reading something, and if it's a super toxic relationship or. If there's a lot, if there's like rape and stuff in it and not consensual, I'm like, no, nah, I'm out. I'm out. I, I want, I, one of the reasons like I tend to like it is because like my favorite ones are always super fluffy. I'm sorry, guys. I really like the fluffy romance ones or the ones that have like a lot of emotional character development. Um, actually, I think one of my favorites or probably one of my tops right now, so exciting that it's finally getting some actual figure merch, even if it's just Nendo's is a therapy game. Um, I had read the original series, um, what is it, Love Allergy first, which is about their brothers? They're not related. I mean, okay, the two, the couple isn't related. They just end up switching big little brother kind of thing for the relationships by, you know, pure coincidence. But it works so super well. But it's the second pairing, which is the uh, younger brother of the Seme from the first story and then the older brother of the Uke. And they're roles are the younger one i think is always like the uk isn't it yeah but anyways it's it's very good emotional and good character development and i in some ways can find some things to relate and one of the things i like about it the most is they fucking communicate like my god there's there's words they get mad things happen they might step away for a bit and then they're like no i should talk i should figure out what's wrong and i'm like my god it's beautiful yeah, um, I can't say I haven't had like weird ass shippers for those kiosks, especially. So I, I know how they're like, oh, this must be a pairing. Mm, no, it's not. Sorry, guys. I'm the writer. I get to decide. God, I can't like touch most fan fiction because so much of it is just so out of character. I'm sorry. I'm very picky with fan fiction because of that. And yeah, I'm also not going to read any fan fiction that has pairings I wouldn't like. And I'm definitely not... I don't like crossovers much either. I I, I have a student... Um, the, 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 I call him a kid, but he's not. Um, that I teach uh, Japanese to. And he is a big fan of crossovers. Like, he loves throwing his characters in with other characters or combining. You know, and I'm just like... Whenever he has my opinion, I'm like, you're not... I, I keep having to remind him, you're not going to get a really good opinion off of me. Because I'm not into that. It is very, very hard, uh, in my my personal opinion, to have a good crossover. Because so many times, the stories that are being crossed over just don't work together. You're taking two different, you know, you're taking like apples and oranges, and yeah, they're both fruit, but when it comes down to it, just because they're both a fantasy series or something doesn't mean their the physics or their magic is the same. The one crossover I have accepted, because it is canon, is Slayers vs. Orphan. When that novel first got announced, I was like, this is years ago, my god, that thing is so old. I have it, of course, because I had to. I got it right as it came out. That was back before I knew where to buy stuff from Japan, so I had to go on eBay and ask uh, my seller at the time, be like, please, please help me find this. So, uh, although I still got it for like 40 bucks, so it wasn't bad. But yeah, because when I first heard that, I was like, the fuck, they're both magic, but I didn't know how much of their world could be overlapped. Okay, those are collabs, dude. Collabs are great. I wanna get I wanna get the what is it, my Kopi. God damn it, Kickstarter. No, stop. There's no Kickstarter anymore. It ended this morning. Afternoon, whatever. Ah, oh, you should totally do it though. Yeah, yeah, let me know. Even if you don't have a a full body, just a webcam. I mean, I use my Apple. I, I literally bought an iPhone to use for it, but I also use it on an iPod. Prior to that, I used um, my uh, my Android phone, which was five, was two, and then prior to that was a webcam. So they all work on um, various levels. I kept advancing. You can just do like the face tracking, and then there's that one free website that you can do like more tracking. But I always felt that one was too. I don't like how I move on it. Oh my god, is Love Live and Justice League doing so? Oh god. We keep getting orders for... Because obviously I work at a comic shop, so I get to see all the weird stuff coming out. First off, Ninja Turtles needs to stop like having collabs with every freaking series. 99% of them to make no sense. And second off, there's a new series that's coming out, which is... um, Was it Godzilla vs. King Kong... Vers oh, J-League. That makes way more sense. I don't know why I want Justice League in my head. Probably because I work at a comic shop. Ah! 
that makes a lot more sense. But yeah, there's it's Godzilla versus King Kong versus Justice League. That's why what I thought of at first. I was like, what? What? No, see this like collabs like that, like soccer and things. Those are an advertisement thing, first off. And that's just to me, that's that's different. That's you know, that's not a restrictive. You're not trying to tell a story with it. You're literally using them for marketing, guys. It's fine. I don't know. Like I said, I'm picky about stuff, and that's why I always tell like people in that case, I'm like, okay, just don't ask me. You're not gonna get the opinion you want. But yeah, I love actually streaming with other people. My favorite streams would to do would be a common would some be somewhere between karaoke and uh, collab streams. I prefer having somebody with me because even if there's downtime, I don't get bored. Otherwise, I get really bored and I just want to like leave. Uh, I'm the worst for drawing. That's why my art collabs were like some of the funnest because I was actually able to draw and stay focused the whole time because I had somebody to chat with. But I know not everyone does as well with that. In my case, I have to have stuff going on. I'm probably only gonna get his hair done, aren't I? Oh. Because I gotta finish building the shell so I can free all my shark stuff. Sure, sure. I mean, technically, like I call up with Wong all the time, but you know, part of that is we live in the same house. But yeah, I, I don't mind, and I do all sorts of. I know uh, I've been talking to some people about doing some uh, spoopy collabs already since, you know, it's coming close to October suddenly. When the fuck did that happen? Story-wise. Like, what do you mean specifically? I mean, I've done, like, collabs as far as, you know, actual projects. I used to write with people, too. It was weird. Not that it was weird because I did it. It's more weird that it just kind of was like, huh. Oh, yeah, actually, so when, um, I, Zosius is part of Antarctic Press's, um, Superverse, which, you know, like, it's all that talk about how I don't like, um, you know, uh, crossovers, and the thing is, though, oh, shit, that's why, I was like, some things there that shouldn't be there. One of the reasons, um, why is because, uh, Zosius is definitely the easiest of my stories to work into other stories. Because if you guys don't know, like literally, it's about gatekeepers. So like, that's like the plot. What is that? Where is that from? Oh no, that's it. Right. It? Is that on a different layer? No. Like, what the fuck? Where is that from? It? What gatekeepers? Not that series, although I've seen gatekeepers. I wasn't calling them gatekeepers originally because I kept thinking of gatekeepers. My gatekeepers with the bad subtitles was the best, man. <laughs> God, you know we're all around the same age when this stuff happens. Or at least we all started in like the same earlier anime, my God. Some of those series are classics. Uh, Gatekeepers, I probably would not recommend to people. So uh, my, my copy of it, um, I don't remember what was going on and I can't even remember the characters' names, guys. I'm sorry, it's been so long. But they were in a truck and the uh, main girl was sitting next to like that big guy. So not the main guy, but like that really, ah! Hi. Um. The, uh, yeah, and I don't know, and the truck turned really far, and she got, like, they got, like, slammed together, and she screamed, hentai! I see, I have to hydrate, yeah. Hi, kitten! But, yeah, so, yeah, it screamed hentai, you know, in the Japanese, but the subtitles, subtitle does, metamorphosis! <laughs> Set up pervert. This is great. Okay, I drink. Yeah, and I really like Nadeshko. I don't know if you guys know, I did actually do a cosplay group for that not that long ago. I mean, I say not that long ago, and it's probably already been, like... The pandemic, like, years have been weird because they, like, removed years, and I haven't even thought about it. But, yeah. God, it's so weird now.
with Samaru and uh Well Hentai is can be transformation or metamorphosis specifically. Nadeshko. See, and in that case, Nadeshko, my first thought wasn't a team, but rather the meaning of Nadeshko. Like, as far as, like, you know, they're... If you guys don't know, Japan has, like, two really, like, what they consider, like, the epitome of beauty. And the first one is um, the Nadeshko, uh, like, syndrome, which is basically where you see, like, the... Um, uh, really, like... Uh, he may cut hair like the really straight dark hair um pale skin um bright eyes you know that kind of thing that's like there's a really long hair too so that's the thing and then the other standard <laughs> nadesco eco is basic big bitch you're you're not wrong vandred i like vandred too i like the opening songs it's i've been doing the opening song in karaoke box every now and then yukiko yeah Yes, like Yukiko from Persona is a good example. But, um, yeah, well, like, I literally, Sakura's mom in Car Captor Sakura was named Nadeshko, if I remember correctly, and that's what she was supposed to be, is like the stereotype of that. She was very pretty. She seems really boring based on what you see of her, though. I don't know. But yeah, that's, that's one stereotype. The other, the other epitome of beauty stereotype, um, came in a lot later because of the fact that it's drawn from western standards and that is everyone was a high schooler what are you talking about don't worry about it everyone's a high schooler was um the is blonde hair blue eyes pale skin so guess what i am yeah <laughs> japan had a had, like enjoyed uh slowly getting close enough to me to touch my hair when i was there for school not not when i went there to vacation thank god they're very polite about not doing that to strangers but yeah I, I turned everyone's heads. Yankee? No, not even Yankee, though, because I'd like... Well, yeah, I guess Yankee's okay to use her, but yeah, just like not like natural looking, though. Yeah. Well, no, because he met her when he was a... When he was... Uh, he would have been like a college grad student, I believe. Because he was uh, like doing his uh, his study or work study or whatever at the school, I believe that's what it was. So unlike, you know, the other what is it, Rika's relationship, which is really screwed up. I don't know. Clam likes to do some weird stuff. I Subasa is still like one of my favorites of their thing. I still really want to cosplay Fi, for legitly not my fake Fi that I did at a Subasa shoot years ago. And then um, I do want to, I'm going to try to make a, because Wong did see parts of it with me now. I want him to do kudo for me. Because that's, that is one of my ships, guys. For those who were offended, that, that is a ship I ship. I ship that ship. Probably one of my top uh, Yahweh ships. So fucking cute. Who was my favorite Futaba? I don't even remember much about Futaba. At least anything besides like the main stuff. I don't know. That was, there's a lot of series that I was like, eh, I don't need to watch it again or read it again, even if it's getting reboots. I also really like Clamp's Goho Drug, uh, which is weird. That one is really weird how they handled it though. So I started reading the manga as it was coming out in Japan and you know, so like whatever, I'm caught up or whatever. And then suddenly like in the middle of nowhere, they just started re-releasing it. And with a new story and new series, like it started over and I'm like, I'm so confused. What is this? Marvel or DC now? I mean, the characters stayed the same at least, but that's that, that one just was so beautiful. And uh, like the way they handled the folklore and stuff, plus potential Yahweh pairing. I'm sorry, guys. I really like those. But no, it was more just the story itself. Um, but those, those are my two favorite like clamp ones. Triple X Hulk, I really liked early on too, but it just kind of got too long for me. I know, I say that and I've read all of Subasa, including the sequel. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I know how they both end because they're connected. But yeah, um, Clamp definitely did the crossover thing really interestingly with Subasa, And so because of that, I, I actually liked it a lot. But part of it is, yes, the character, some of the characters were fucking amazing.
And also, I can't help but laugh about the fact that Toya is still everywhere. Toya is uh, one of my favorite characters in, uh, in uh, Car Capture Sakura, too, so. He's just, unfortunately, for cosplay thing, he's not always the most interesting to cosplay. Which is why I did UA instead, so. I also like UA. I don't dislike Yuhito, but sometimes in the original series, he was just kind of eh, bland until later on. Tsubasa, at least he has more personality and he eats a lot. I wish I could eat as much as him and not lose weight or, or and not gain weight not lose weight oh my god that is what's happening no I don't eat anywhere near as much as any of them but yeah Urgh! don't want to move anything yeah some of the series that I'm into that are older aren't as cosplayable either. Just sad. I also still need to cosplay from the two Star Ocean games I haven't cosplayed from yet, which is uh, Six and the mobile game. I, uh, Nemesis. I have who I want to um, cosplay from both already picked out, so. I'd love to do somebody from. Ta I'd love to do. Uh, what's her name from uh, Tales of Arise? Why am I blanking on her name? Oh my god. She's one of my favorite freaking characters. Why can't I think of her name? It's driving me crazy. Why am I like this? Yeah, right. Because I don't sleep. That that does that. That kills your memory. Did you guys know that? Kisara? Is that is Kisara her name? That's another one. My actual favorite character in there is Law. Yes, I like the dumb ones. <laughs> but as far as like, um, I don't think I could ever cosplay him well. And so I wouldn't. Besides, I'd like to, you know, hold on to him. So that's one of those I should make Wong do it. Although Kisara, if her name is Kisara. And Dolalime Dola is actually a good pairing. I like that one. That's a cute ship. God, I really do miss cosplaying, but at the same time, I just haven't had the energy to really, like, put the same amount of effort and stuff in anymore just because I'm hurting all the time and I'm tired all the time. Don't get old as a trap! And really random cosplay things. Uh, one of my dream cosplay groups is purposely like satirical i want to do action league now how many of you guys even know what that is anymore <laughs> it is i think it would be fun to do though because obviously i could easily do thunder girl no wig needed or anything. I just think it would be so freaking random, but it would be hilarious. Especially if you could, um, like, I feel like um, the flash would be one of the easier ones because you could just, yes, despite him being naked, you could just get, a, a, like, a body, like, one of those, like, muscle suits for it. Stinky Diver, I guess, would be okay. Uh, I know Wong said he wanted to try Melt Man. <laughs> like, what are you going to do? Like, melt some costume parts? <laughs> That's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Hi guys, this is part of the stuff I grew up with. Not that I've ever hidden my age, so. This is why I consider myself uh, Aniki to everyone. Oh, that would be nice too. I really like X too. I don't know who I'd want to cosplay from it though. My favorite character is Subaru. Although, yeah, I kind of ruined the ending for that because I read Tokyo Babylon. Or I should say, I ruined Tokyo Babylon because I read X while reading Tokyo Babylon, not realizing they were connected because I'm dumb. <laughs> it is, it is. Well, I just, Clam just, oh God, their art. My God, I love it. Yeah, they got a little weirder with the newer stuff. Um, like, I still love it, but, like, Tsubasa gets a... Tsubasa has an amazing storyline, but sometimes you're like, dude, Fi, are you, like, actually human? 
Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, when they first switched for, like, Tsubasa, Triple X, Holic, Goho, Drug, I was like, huh. I, I still don't love it, but I've gotten used to it. But, yeah, they're... See, the only reason I think that I'm still handling it as well is they're still doing their ridiculous amount of detail. So, as long as they keep that up, I'm good. It's just, yeah, the, the really long, long gauge things i feel like they just like grab because whenever we're talking like anatomy in my um the class i because i teach if you guys don't know one of my things is i teach at an art gallery nearby uh like a local art gallery and i teach kids how to do manga literally we make manga together like they make their own stories and stuff um but yeah one of the things i have to tell like with anatomy is that like most cases with manga you know if a character is um like Mm, like seven to ten heads tall normally they're gonna be more like you know nine to eleven and then like then there's Subasa clamp style where they like literally took a character and just stretched them so now they're like more like 12 to 15 heads tall but they put all that they literally put most of that extra stuff into their legs too 11 heads I also have to tell my explain to my students that that is with the head and you should not remove the heads although I'm not gonna stop them either I tell them they can write whatever they want as long as it's stuff that their parents can look at and not get them grounded. But typically I do recommend them stay under like PG-13. <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble is why I don't care. Honestly, I, I don't think kids, uh, kids are, you know, they, they, how would you say it? They are exposed to so much that's already worse than like a lot of the stuff that their parents are like, they can't see this or they can't read this. Like, dude, they literally see worse stuff in real life every day. And part of the learning how to like cope with it and deal with it and understand it is through media. So if you're not letting them digest the media that explains it, then they're more likely to have like issues later on. At least that's my, my opinion. I mean, like, seriously, though, my, my, my mother especially did not care what we watched as long as she was aware of it and that we, she thought we could handle it. My dad, on the other hand, um, made, let us watch, he, he did some weird things. Like, I think, I know we were really young when he was like, oh, let's watch Leprechaun because that's totally a kid's movie. For a while, uh, Kitten was terrified of leprechauns and thought they were going to murder her. Yes, including, like, the Lucky Charms guy. <laughs> oh, hi, Argentum. Yeah, it's going pretty good. It's probably nearing the end of it, too. Yeah. I just want to finish this hair first, though. I usually only stay on for an hour when I art because I am the most distracted artist in the world, by the way. I kid ye not. Kid ye not. I think we, I would say I might've been like five, but Kinnats have been at least seven when we watched Leprechauns because the fact that she remembered it so much more in detail than I did. Uh, in my case, I mostly just remember her reaction to it. I don't think it bothered me, but it's so like nowadays, especially like when I, I caught it on like long, well, it's still been a long time since I caught it on because my dad had it on once again uh, when I was still living at home. And it was like, it's so fake looking now. Don't worry about why I know what the inside of a human body looks like. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, I this is really bothering me. Where the hell is the stupid little speck? It's you? It's you? Why are you here? What do you want? Get out of here. I hate you. Okay, it is there. It's like, why didn't you let me fix you earlier, you asshole? Why am I doing this on the... Wait! Eh? I did it on the wrong... Whatever. Fuck it, it's good enough. It's, it's okay, it's on the wrong layer. I don't care that much. 
yeah, so it ended up on... Layers, man. They're great, but they're also can be ad ad aggravating. Aggravating. Okay, there we go. His hair is done now. He's got a band-aid on his face still. It's just, we're seeing him from the side that isn't. Oh, this is gonna be weird because, yeah, usually the way I draw it, his ears and tail, like, have a connecting thing, so you don't, like, see that part, but I don't know why I did it like this this time. Yeah, so Cal... Oh my god, what is that? Oh, RTD 30 months! Wow! That's a lot. <laughs> Trying to math that. Is that like two and a half years? Have I known you that long? Damn. Yeah, if you guys don't know, I think in October it will be my third year of streaming. It's been a lot. All right. Priceless. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and call it here, though. Um, I got some done. I still have a lot more to do. So let me see who we can read. Yeah, so yeah, my Kickstarter did finish and everything's okay. Um, it finished with no problem. Yay! New jobs are always good. Um, who is on? Oh my god, so many friends on. So many friends. Who do I wanna who do I wanna raid? I don't know who Miss Rose Noir is. Is that a friend of yours? Also, oh my god, Kickstarter. I didn't really need to turn that off. Um I don't know what sounds the most interesting to watch too. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I don't really care about that. I'm sorry, guys. And I guess we'll just go Hirosaki. He's on, right? Yeah, he's on. That's always a good one. I like to do um people I know more too, or like people who are also playing games and stuff I'm interested in. I definitely don't like talking streams much. I'm sorry. Um, here we go. Let me turn that off. So yeah, I will see you next time. I've got another show this week, so things will be weird again. But um, yeah, so I don't think I'll be streaming any other day. We definitely aren't doing Occupus Soul streams this week. I might know her, but I'm really bad with names. And sometimes I know their real name and not their cosplay name. So, all right, guys, let's go uh, watch Hirosaki. It's supposed to be Tales Tuesday. How dare he fail us? But it's not. Let's go. Night night.